two counts of simple assault. That's what Starkville Octibaha Consolidated School District Superintendent Lewis Holloway has been convicted of. Now we've made multiple phone calls to the district and the school board asking for an on-camera statement regarding Holloway's charges, but they've declined. So we hit the streets to speak with taxpayers and community leaders to see what they have to say. Some Starkville residents believe Holloway's conviction comes as a relief for the community. Jim Lytle, whose photography contract with the Starkville School District was canceled, believes the superintendent should be fired. I think he's just a really poor example for kids. He's a horrible role model, and he doesn't need to be our superintendent any longer. I think that Dr. Holloway should resign prior to the school board making a decision. Because he know that that's not a leader. A leader does not make those mistakes. Octibaha County NAACP President Chris Taylor believes city leaders should also hold board members accountable. The board of aldermen get to pick three school board members, and if they pick people who do, does not make a decision, afraid to make the tough decision, then no person there that's on the school board need to resign. I'm sure that's the, what has to be some of the board's concerns. Is if they fire him, he's going to sue him again because he has a record of doing that. Lytle says he believes people are afraid to comment because of possible retaliation. He's a bully. He's, I'm sorry, in my opinion, he's just a bully, and that's why everybody is scared. And it's time that a bully gets called out. Now, the school board will have a meeting on Tuesday, but one school board member tells me addressing Holloway's charges will not be on the agenda. Reporting in Starkville, Quentin Smith, WCBI News.